so guys this is the second video in this excel course and technically the first video because in the first video we have just in give some introduction about the excel software technically this is the starting of this excel course this video is gonna be on what is rows and columns in excel software so we're gonna give you a total overview of excel software and we're gonna tell you some of the main things like rows and columns in excel software so hey guys welcome back to marketing funders global this is the second video in this excel course and in this video we are going to we are going to show you what is rows and columns in ms excel so let's get into the video without any further ado so guys as you can see right now i'm in my desktop now in order to access ms excel software first you have to go to your search and search here ms excel but the thing is ms office should be installed in your pc if it is not then you'll be not able to find ms excel software right also there's you just have to press window key and this icon will be i mean that this search bar will be appeared and here you can search otherwise these are the pinned softwares you can see here right as i have already talked about microsoft office 365 in the previous video which was the introduction video right so this is the microsoft 365 and these are the main softwares word excel powerpoint right you can just type here if you are not uh, able to find if you have installed ms office or microsoft 365 in your pc but you are not able to find just press window key and search here excel and you will be able to find it otherwise you can just press window key and otherwise if you have any other version of your windows this is the windows 11 version and if you have the previous versions like windows 8 10 or maybe 7 so you can just press win uh, control f or window f key and there will be a search bar there you can search ms excel or just you can search excel but in windows 11 here's the search bar you just search here or just press the window and you'll be able to search now let's click on this excel software and let's get started so this is the main dashboard you can see of this software this is the home and in home option basically the home bar we can see this few pre-made excel sheets you can say these are basically the instruction sheets which help you to create your spreadsheet according to your idea or just give you some suggestions on how to create right so basically these are the tutorials as you can see you can see the tutorials now and these are the uh, recent files which you have created in the software right if you have pinned any file then you'll be able to see here and if someone has shared any excel sheet with me then i'll be able to see here right let me go back to recent now in the new option here are the templates pre-made templates which we can use but for now we'll be starting with a blank workbook right this is for if you want to create any new uh, sheet spreadsheet basically so these are the templates you can choose microsoft provides good amount of templates which you can choose from these are the templates and if you know how to work on blank sheet how to create anything from scratch then using these templates gets a lot easier so we'll be showing you how to create things how to done work in blank sheet only right and in the open option you'll be able to see the full files basically which you have saved or not these files will be shown here right also these are the options this pc add a place or if you want to browse something from your pc like if you want to add any excel file then in the software then you can do this right then we have onedrive option also available here if you want to save any excel sheet into your drive onedrive you can do that as well right below this we have some options like account option here you'll able to see all the account options then other options as well now let's go to home and select a blank workbook otherwise you can go to new option and from here you can also select a blank workbook just click on this whatever right now here is the typical spreadsheet so that's how a spreadsheet software looks like right this is microsoft excel 2019 version right 2019 version this one it is now first of all let me tell you about these things these are uh, these tools which are here as you can see here so basically this is called ribbon okay whether it is excel software ms word or ms powerpoint this 
set of tool or this uh, part of the software called ribbon right and in ribbon we got file home insert page layout formulas data tons of options are here and right now we are in home option and we got clipboard font alignment numbers styles so i hope uh, some of the things you know and some of the things you might know uh, you might don't know so don't have to worry we'll let you go through one by one everything right now as the main thing of this video as the main topic of this video was to tell you that what are the columns and what are the rows in ms excel right so as you can see here a b c d e f so these are the columns basically these if i click on this a and the thing which is selected this is column right this straight line filled with these boxes are basically one column this is a column then b column c column d column e column f column like this and the number goes on now you might be thinking how long this number goes on after z what is we have right after z what we got so let me show you x y z then the counting starts like this double a then a b a c a d a e a f like this then b a b b b c b d like this now you might be thinking that what is the end number of this column right for that you just have to press control plus right key and you'll be go to the end of this spreadsheet and that is x f d it's it is not important but just to tell you that you can have it in your mind that uh, how long we can go in excel software right right now for for go back i just have to press control and left key so that i can go to extremely left of this spreadsheet now i just told you about the columns right now if i see here as you can see here there are some numbers are going on 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 like this so if i click on this one so this line is selected now right so this is called line this is uh, the first line then second line third line fourth line fifth line and the number goes on and here in how many lines we got for that you just have to press again control and down key and the last number is around 10 lakh 48 thousand right so we got around 10 lakh lines in this excel software right now to go extremely up you just have to press control up key and you'll be at the top of this page now these box are called cell right this one individual box is called cell and if you are able to see this box this is a name box and name box shows the name of the cell which you have selected right for example if you select this cell then the name box will show the name of this particular cell right the name of this particular cell is l12 and how it is decided that the name of this cell will be l12 for that you just have to look up as you can see here this is an l column and the 12th row right so that's how we decide the name of any cell or the excel software decide the name of any cell in which column it is and in which row it is for example i just select this cell so in this cell where this cell is located it is located in the p column and 24th row or maybe 23rd row so it is like that and that's what it is showing here p column 23rd row right and here we have this formula bar right if you hover your cursor over here you will be able to see the name of this particular uh, bar as well right this is the benefit or you can say this is the old feature of these ms office softwares if you hover any of uh, any of these features you will be able to see the name of that particular feature right like if i hover here cursor as you can see top align then if I hover my cursor here, it says align left. So it already tells the name, basic feature. Now plus 60, 
right so this is the formula which is showing here but if i just select any other cell it will be calculated right it is calculated 100 and for example if i write 100 here as well it will be showed directly 100 but if i select this cell it will show the formula right so that's how this formula bar shows any formula which have added into particular individual cell or any kind of uh, set of cells right this will show the, that formula which is being used in that case so i hope you understood now let me show you some extra features of the software particular excel software right for example if you want to zoom in you just have to here come here and just drag it and you'll be able to zoom like this basic thing but uh, good to know that how you can zoom in and zoom out right and if you want to add some extra sheets you just have to come here here as you can see here sheet one then if you click on this plus icon you'll be able to add extra sheets sheet two sheet three right now you can change the color of these sheets as well so that you can uh, organize the things properly for that you just have to press the right key then here are the options right tab color you can change the tab color let me click on blue and it will be changed into blue like this right now let me press right click again if you want to add something if you want to delete if you want to rename you can do that as well if you want to move or copy you can do that as well if you want to uh, find something or you want to view the code of this particular sheet you can do that right but this is not your league so just leave it that is not for you now again press right click now there's one useful option which can be used for any confidential thing and that is protect sheet by this you can add a password in any particular sheet you want uh, we'll be telling you about this feature in our upcoming videos so i just told you that there's the feature which helps you to protect your sheet as well right so let me cancel it now so yeah this was all about columns and rows in ms excel software and i have already told you about how to add sheet how to zoom in zoom out so these uh, this was basically an overview about this excel software and in the upcoming videos will be one by one telling you how to add formulas how to manage your data how to uh, do data entry like this right so i hope you understood this video i hope you like this video if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button if you still have any question or query or any kind of confusion regarding these things regarding these options or anything else you just have to comment down below and i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself and if the question can't be answered in the comment section then i'll create one more separate video on that particular question you don't have to worry about it just drop your questions freely so with that said guys we'll meet you in the next video stay tuned stay tuned with this course until then bye bye